Hey Maseem, welcome to you to Mongo tutorial and in this video our objective is to learn about the Mongo client. So uh, people who who are not really you know text savvy or uh, you know, who cannot work more on console or they want to see uh, the GUI. So one good option for them is RoboMongo. So from RoboMongo.org it gives you the visual representation of whatever data and it, ma it makes uh, easier to visualize the data and do the query and see all the details over here. So this is a very good and inspiring project and um, this is free to download. So you can download it for free and try it out. Especially if you are learning, if you are a beginner, this will help you to complete your queries, write your scripts, your database scripts which is you know essentially like JavaScript. So here we see that db.user.function inside the function we are trying to run a for loop doing the printing and essentially writing the database code. So this um, Mong uh, robo mongo would help you to see it in the tabular like uh, the way we visualize it in uh, MySQL databases something like that so you can relate it. Uh, and this is getting really popular every day and it have a lot many forks more than 15,000 on github so let's try and do hands on on this once you install how it happens so you need to download and based on your platform you can install it once you install it it would uh, this is how the UI looks like and it would have the connection string detail so I have my MongoD process running on 27017. So as soon as I tell it to, to connect, it would connect. And then it, it shows me all the databases which are there in the record. Uh, all of those can be seen. So let's try and pick the last one which is the database name is transport. Inside the transport, what are the user which have access or what are the collections? So let's try to see the collections over here. So we have tenants, user logging, driver connect. Once you click on the driver, it would uh, implicitly write the query and do find for you. Inside the find, it would uh, write all the objects and then you can always extend the object and you can see the details of each and every object, whatever is there inside the collection. So this is a very very handy uh, utility to work with uh, you know, MongoD, Mongo database. Uh, you can just connect it using this UI and then it would help you to get details or in fact even you can edit data. Editing becomes also super easy. You can view a particular document which is, which is essentially being so shown in the JSON format. Uh, against or uh, instead of the tabular format and you can do the editing as well from here if I say a scene gen and in bracket we can say updated you can always validate if it's a validate JSON or not because if you are trying to save something which is not valid for example, I missed out this and then I am trying to save it and I am getting problem and I say oh what I did, uh, why it, it is not working. So I just need to validate whatever format I am doing and then and there I would get some error. I can fix it, I can validate it once the validation happens. You can. So this becomes really really cool and handy on such cases if you are not uh, really super familiar with the console and in the console uh, mongo console same thing happens over here so we have db data db you know as test you, we can say use transport and then we would say show collection so it does the same thing essentially what uh, you know uh, is being done over here now you can see say db dot drivers dot find and it would show you all the records but this uh, doesn't seem you know really user friendly over here just to make it user friendly you can do tv dot drivers dot find dot and pretty 
it would show it a little bit better in a little bit more readable format so in short uh, try out uh, robo mongo this is a, a good utility if you want to connect or you're looking for some visualization tool for to connect to mongo this is a good ui